Courtesy, the Dusky Man with the Forever 10, aka Playboy the Hood, representing Lee Team. And right now, you rocking with Big Veg, the Rock Razzi. Huh? Huh? Yeah, get familiar with him. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your man, Big Veg, your Rock Razzi Media Ambassador. It's going down. I'm your man. It's going down. You know, I'm always doing big things. That's why they call me Big Veg. It's something real serious. We're here at another Planet Studios, man. I'm here with the man Courtesy Jersey. Elizabeth is in the building. What's up, my brother? What's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing, man? I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing well. Can you you gotta do your catchphrase? Man, courtesy, man. You already know what it is. A dark skin man with the forever tan, aka Ooh. Playboy the Hood. Okay. My man got a tan that's forever. That's groovy, right? I, my tan like lasts like maybe a month or two. <laughs> How you, bro? How's everything? Everything's great, man. I'm blessed. No, I can't complain. You know what I mean? You, 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 uh, you are in this game. You've been doing this for a while. Let's go over the story from the beginning because every story has a beginning, right? Um, Jersey, Elizabeth is where you was born and raised. Actually, no, I was born in Haiti. Oh, Haiti. That's yeah, but I was, but I was raised in Jersey though. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So, 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 um, when did you come to, I guess, the states? Like, like, let's start there. I was a kid, two years old. When I was two years so old. Early, so early. Yeah, yeah, early very early. early. Okay, okay. So, so what got you into the industry? Like, like what was first? Was it the music or? Uh, I mean, it was a genuine thing. I was like, I was like, I started. I was one of those little, little kids that that just was mumbling songs. Mm. You know what I mean? And they went from mumbling songs to writing down, writing, writing the lyrics of the songs oh. so I could learn them. Okay. And then from writing other people's lyrics down to writing my own. Mm. You know what I mean? So I was doing it before I even understood what I, what I was doing or what trying it could Trying to get into it, trying to tap into it. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it, it was a genuine thing for me. Okay, okay. So 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 what was, like, the first thing that you wrote as far as, like, lyrics? Like, like what was the first song? Like, or, 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 when, or when was the first song did that, that you wrote? Like, around what time? Like, around, around what age did you start, like, actually getting serious into music? Uh, I did my first actual real rap in, in the sixth grade. Wow. So, so it was a, a Black History Month project, and we had to do, you know, pick a pick something to, you know what I mean? It was, it was a project, and we had to pick. Pick something to do. You had to, yeah, it was, you know it, was, I mean? it, it was a task. Exactly. And then some people wrote, um, you know, autobiography, poetry. poetry, you know what I mean, bios, whatever. I mean, you know. And you chose to, and you chose to rap. Yeah. I, you know, wow. I, so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do, do a rap song. And um, I did it with a classmate. And then um, mm. we did, it was like an event at night. And um, it went so well, I ended up being in a, in a newspaper, in Star okay, Ledger. So you got a little fame off of that. Yeah, I got a little clout before people knew what clout was. Right, right before clout was clout. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> wow. You feel me? And uh, from there on, man, I, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Right, from, right. I mean, hands down, no questions asked. Mm. Courtesy, um, describe that. I mean, it's self-explanatory, but just in case they don't get it. I mean, courtesy, basically, it's, um, you know, the synonym for courtesy is polite. Yes. And, you know. Genuine. Yeah, so basically, right. it, it, my name sends off me being nice or whatever I do. Off the, off the top, yeah. You know what I mean? So if it, it comes from, come from dressing up, when it comes to lyrics, when it comes to performing live, okay. like I'm just nice at what I do. Okay. You feel me? And it, it was a playoff to also my reputation around the hood with females and everything like that. But um, really, it's, it's a metaphor of me being nice at what I do. Okay, 
Okay. So that's how I got courtesy. And plus, it rings off real nice to the ears. The right, females right. love it. Has star quality name to it. And um, it fits me right. right. I mean, if the females love it, then you know you good. Of course, of course, <laughs> you know of course. So it fits me right. You that's, feel me? So I'm great. That, that's what I'm saying. Um, It's courtesy your first name. Did you go do a couple of names or was courtesy the first joint? You know, because um, Puff Daddy had a couple joints. That's what I'm asking. Right, right. <laughs> nah, nah. Courtesy was the name. Courtesy was the name. First joint so, yeah, that's, that's the one I was running with. And you spell it different. Yeah, I spell it K E R T A S Y. You know what I mean? We spell it the way exactly how it sounds. You right. feel me? So I wanted to give it a little twist to it instead of spelling the regular C O U R T A S Y. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? We're using Ebonics. Shout out to Big L. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. My brother. So, so, so if there was to search you on the net, um, in fact, be- before we get into that, um, talk about your style, like as far as music, like like if people was to check you out, like what, what, what type of. What type of style do you kick? You know what I'm saying? Uh, my music, um, upbeat. You feel me? I, I love upbeat type music. But um, my, but when it comes to my um, my projects and everything, I'm very versatile. You feel me? But I do like making um catchy single type records. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I got a project out right now called The Collage. It's out. And basically, What's it called the collage. The collage, yeah, and it's seven tracks, and okay. each track is a single type re- record I wrote, but all different vibes, just to show my writing capabilities, mm. and just to see, you know, show you my range and how I do things. But my music is very versatile, very, um, okay. you know, I would say commercial. I, I, I basically I stick to myself. I stick to my stories. You do you? I mean, exactly. I don't try to tell nobody's stories, but mine. Yeah, right. You bring you bring the people into your world. Exactly. But you know, where it also very hypnotic to the point that it's very catchy. So you don't you don't rock with it. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That's what's up. So this project is out now. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, it, it, it's just the first project you have out, or you have projects prior to this? I have projects prior to that. Out, you know what I mean? But that's my latest project out right now. Okay. And also, I have a couple of singles out floating around too as well. Okay. Talk about the singles, King. Okay? Well, I have one single right now that just um I shot a video called TikTok Shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of it's getting all the TikTokers shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, um, say two million in six months. God damn, bro, you working. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, we've been hitting the road. Um right. shout out to my team, Evil Agency and yeah, Scott, Scott Morris. They 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 keeping you busy. Yeah, yeah, definitely definitely keep me busy. So we've been going sick to stay even throughout the COVID. Um, you know, throughout the pandemic situations, you know, there's other little underground, I call it the underground situations, underground situation parties, tours. And events. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. So people were still working. So we were still out okay. there um just mingling Meeting networking, people, networking, and, and doing shaking radio, hands, radio, shaking hands and kissing babies. You know the routine. You know the routine, <laughs> man. Okay. You feel me? And um, also been you know been doing promotion. Like I said, if you're an artist and you doing music and you shoot a music video, you have to put some promotion behind it, marketing. So basically, six million views came from put marketing behind it. You know what I mean? So it didn't come just like. Like, the world didn't know who the fuck courtesy was, you feel me? So you got to put your shit and put yourself right. in front of them. Yeah, put it out there. So, therefore, you know what I mean? Like, That's listen, right. you got to run them ads, do the marketing, put a budget behind your videos. I put a budget behind it, you feel me? I ain't going to shoot it. That's, That's important. Like that. And don't put a budget behind it. And it's like, come on, man. I done spent money on recording the song, yes. getting it made. Talk that shit, courtesy! Then I shot the video. God so, you mean it. I'm not going to spend yeah. more marketing than I spent making it? Right. It, it makes sense. And, you know, you, I mean, but... But they put it two and two together. I'm just a rapper. Right, 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 right. You just do what you do. I'm just a rapper. All right, I don't know. Okay, I got you. And I'm just the host. I got you. Okay, I got you, King. All right, that's what it is. So, um, where's the next spot you're going to? Um, As far as you, you say you're touring, so where, where, where are you going to next? Well, I've been talking to my team, so we, um, we're um we going to do a Midwest tour run okay. soon. So, you know... Midwest swing, y'all. Yeah, yeah, Chicago, <laughs> Detroit... And some other places, and also we're gonna be in Florida, so yeah. we do have a Miami date coming up soon. Three oh five. Time, yeah, man. I've been waiting for that Miami date. I've been telling the booking agent, listen, man, we gotta go to Miami soon. I got a couple of, got a couple of people been DMing me, talking about someone we gonna come to Florida. So, uh-huh. you know, I need that weather. I need that weather right. too. That, that hot weather, cause New York, man. I, we, no disrespect, to New York, but one second. It's negative two degrees. The next second is two hundred degrees. I don't know, man. New York weather be a Gemini. One minute it's cool, next minute it's not. No disrespect to my Gemini's. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's what's up. So, so he definitely got some stuff coming. He's gonna be touring in a couple of states. So make sure if he's coming to your state, you reach out and you get connected with his brother because his brother is coming. You know what I mean? All right, cool. So, so, so we got the tour. We got stuff coming. But what is next for courtesy as far as music? Well, I have two music videos coming out soon. Okay. Um, one's titled BFL, off the project, The Collage. Okay. 
Um, and that stands for? Um, best Friend Lovers. That's the acronym for Best Friend Lovers featuring, okay. you know what I mean, my, my boy, you know, B. Morgan. He's singing on that. Oh. Uh, it's the second video. Big video because that brother could sing. Yeah. Not sing, sang. <laughs> yeah, shout out to him. Um, you know, we, mm. we, we, we've we been touring, we toured together in the past, okay. and we always spoke about doing a record, and I told him when I found the right record, we are going to do it. So, you know, I kept my word. We did the record. You said Best Friend Lover. Best Friend Lovers, okay. you feel so, me? So we doing the Stevie Wonder joint. Okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see you, dog. Yeah, you know, I ain't mad at you, King. Listen, listen. I ain't mad at you, dog. Got to touch him in the heart. You I feel, feel me? you. Um, so, um, so we got that. What else? Is, you say you got a couple singles? Yeah, yeah, I have the BFL, and also I have another record called... Um, how it goes, so we're gonna drop that video and a single together at the same time. But okay. BFL is actually on my project, the collage that's okay. out right now. So it's okay. a second single. I'm shooting oh, a music sure. video off that project, okay. and I will be shooting more music videos off that project the throughout the though. year. Yeah, throughout the whole year, I'm gonna be shooting music videos off that project as well, rolling out other singles as well. Just, just you know, flooding the market. Just you know, I'm giving you keeping everybody busy, tapping that's into t- tapping into your world. Of course, man. I got to get the money coming in, man. That's how I get them coins, man. That's how I get my money. That's how I get paid through my streams, yo. Yeah, so, you know. Because at the moment, that's all you guys have. You know, speaking, let's get into that. We're in the, we're in the, dur- we are in, um, um, in a, in a, coron- in a yeah. we are in a coronavirus pandemic, right? Um, you know, a lot of, I mean, like I said, it, it wouldn't affect you because you're grinding, but you know, a lot of stuff is shut down in New York, a lot of venues. So for artists that might be tapping into this, uh, into this interview, let, let, let's keep them inspired. How have you been keeping busy during this whole pandemic situation? Um, well, I, I invest into my own home studio, so I've been oh. still working on music. Still pumping out music at home. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, they say studios. I mean, some studios are open. You know, what I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta do your research. You mean find somebody. I mean, now nowadays somebody got some something in their crib. You feel me? And I'm also even if you're not recording, right? You know, what I mean, get these instrumentals, go online and write, pre-write your songs. Everybody just on- have them ready. Yeah, everybody on also, also, something like, I'm going to go to the studio and, and do it up there in the spot. Man, listen, yeah. imagine if you have 10 records written and, re- yeah. and ready, ready to, go. to go. When the studios open back up, you know what I mean? You can knock them out, right? you know what I mean, get them going. So yeah, at the end of the day, it don't stop. You keep writing if you can't get into the studio right now. If you ain't got the money, keep writing. If not, yo, do your homework. Do Stay online. Yeah. Stay on these blog sites. Like, right. you got to be in the know of what's going on in pop culture. You got to know what's going on in this hip-hop world. You can't just be stuck in a bubble just think I'm just going to rap. Like, I honestly, I wake up every day, mm. and I'm online. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm either working. I'm, throughout the day, I'm breaking my time between writing, right. rehearsing my music, mm-hmm. then doing my homework online of what's going on in the hip-hop world, right. the gossip. The, I, you got to know who's who, yeah, what's yeah. going on. Who's yeah. talking about who. <laughs> yeah. Well, who, who, who's TikTok shaking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Shameless yeah, plug. Man. I got you, kid. Yeah, I got you. I appreciate it. I, appreciate I, 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 I need 2%, all right? 2%. You know what I yeah. mean? We'll talk, we'll talk to Scott about Oh, come on. You can't give me 2%. Listen, listen, if Son of Dior could give me 2% and tip me, come on, man. <laughs> we'll talk about, yo, Scott, I'm going to holler at you, dog. <laughs> That's what's up. No, but for real, you have to be in the know of, of know what's going on. You have to know who's talking about who, what's going on, what, blah, 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 blah. Right, right. To stay, to stay involved. To stay, to, to stay tapped in to the industry, right? Got you, got you. Okay, cool. So we got a lot of stuff coming. 2021 is the new year. Uh, you're touring. You're still recording. Um, what else can we say is coming for the career of Courtesy? Um, definitely, like I said, a lot more, um, a lot more awareness of of who I am with the music. There are a lot more relationships being built. Friends are being made. Mm-hmm. More doors are being open. Okay. You feel me? That's that's the real that's the real thing right there. Okay. It's tapping into your world still and and broadening your brand. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I got my merch line lead team. I got my um, merch line record I'm wearing right now. Okay. okay. So I'm um, dropping the sweatsuits within a week or two. Um, the lead team merch dot com is also launching. So I also do my own merch. You okay. know what I mean? And that's also my side situation. I, I offer, yeah, I offer that. You know what I mean? That that help to other artists who trying to get they t-shirts so i got a t-shirt company oh you know no. what i mean so you know i can tap into you to get tap into and get stuff done get, yeah get some t-shirts done oh, you want to get some wow. t-shirts get some merch done oh, you know what i mean definitely you know what i mean dm me um contact me find me i'm not i'm not i'm not hard, not to, hard find to find at all at all you feel me i'm very active on instagram okay. and um yeah 
You know what I mean? Like, and, and you, I might give you the advice you need too as an artist to, you know, how to maneuver in this game and get, you know, on the business side, which a lot of artists don't don't know ha- or, 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 or don't have knowledge or don't have the knowledge to tap into. Yeah. Um, let's get into that advice. I mean, you know, you've been doing your thing, bro, for a long time since young. You're really tapped into your network, into what you're doing. So for artists that are that might be that just might be going through troubles of getting themselves out there because of this pandemic or just troubles their own. You know what I'm saying? Um, how can they stay active as far as you feel? How can they stay in tuned? Um, get some advice to those that just might be might be stuck. Well, like I said, stay online. Stay online. You know what I mean? Do your research. Do your homework. Try to find resources around you, people that's, that that maybe have not recording. And if you happen to do have a job, because a lot of people do got jobs now. Nine to fives. Yeah, yeah they got look gigs, whatever. So this is the time right now, if the studios are shut down, this is the time right now to save your money because it's right. very, very expensive to be an artist. Right, It's right. very expensive. You know what I mean? We right. we could tell you to chase your dreams and do all that, but if you ain't got no money, you, it's going to be hard to chase your dreams, real shit. Especially in the industry that that we're in, you're gonna sp- listen. Get ready to spend a lot of mo- a lot of money before you even seeing anything coming to you. Right, and and I feel like a lot of artists have to have to really understand that because people people jump to think that they're gonna make they're gonna put out a record and think they're gonna make a million back the next day or two. Like, you know what? I always every artist come up here or people always they always want to tell them, you know, yeah, keep going hard, keep chasing your dream, but they don't really tell them the real fucking story. Yeah, like, yeah, right, bro, right, you right. gotta have money to be realistic, right? <laughs> Yeah, you 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 could dream all you want. You can have all the talent. Listen, you could dream all you want. You can have all the talent you want. If you ain't got no money, you ain't gonna do. Ain't nothing happening for you, Captain. Ain't nothing happening, Captain. Straight up, straight up. You gotta you gotta you gotta have some type of budget. Uncle, unless you got an uncle or auntie somewhere in the industry, and you got happen to be blessed, ain't shit moving for you. If you finna think you gonna get here with your raps and skills only, because that's how you know a lot of these ass rappers is hopping right now because you know what they had some money some money funds behind right. and they put more they, you know, I mean, they put more hustle than you is you yeah, feel yeah, me yeah. at the end of you gotta have that money That's what it is. so you know two things you need to have as an independent artist if you have one or the other mm. it's either an investor and if you have an investor you gotta make sure you have at least, at least a booking agent somebody's right. gonna get you out of your town because them little them little strip club runs you're doing in your local town this this ain't in atlanta you feel me and now everybody's story is gonna be like every atlanta rapper right Saying they make they song broke in a strip club. Right, right. right. <laughs> to be realistic, yes, yes. Can you break let's, it down? Let's cut it. Let's <laughs> cut, cut that, right? <laughs> cut it, cut it out, y'all. Cut it out. <laughs> so yeah. them little local runs, them little like I said, you know, you gonna have a lot of promoters going hustle you, talking about some yeah, come to the strip club night, this night third, get you a bootleg ass little fly to post for the day. That shit ain't gonna do shit. Right. You need a book of agents gonna get you out of town right, right. and get you shaking and moving and seeing and putting you in front of people. If your ass know how to perform, right? That too. That's, because that, that's a whole different because world. That's you can, another world. Yeah, because then you can get in front of some people and then still bomb the fuck out. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's so you gotta know yeah. how to perform. That's the biggest thing: hitting the road and performing. Yeah. Look for look like every artist in the past. Look at every musical movie from right. the Temptations right. or whatever. Right. You all see, the legends. Yeah. You yeah. see how they all got popping? Mm-hmm. Even Michael Jackson. They all were hitting the road. Yeah. Hitting the road, like we get. Sometimes I don't rock crowds with only thirty people, and I don't rock crowds to a thousand people. Right. It's documented. You can go on YouTube and look up courtesy. Right. You'll see me doing from small to big shows, but I always give a hundred and ten percent. So that's my advice to y'all, man. Check out the vlogs, y'all. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Get your money up. Get that budget up, and um, get the fuck out of where you at, <laughs> and just start connecting and, sh- and 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 shaking hands and kissing babies. Word up. Um, last thing, my brother, tell them, I mean, tell, tell them where they can follow you so they can tap it into your world. They can, they could connect with you on, 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 you know, digital platforms and just where they could check you out. Um, you can definitely find me online on all DSPs. Just type in courtesy, K-E-R-T-A-S-Y dot com. Mm. It's a one-stop shop to all my social media. Right links you know what i mean courtesy is it's not hard to find i'm the only courtesy in the world so when you you know what i mean type it in any platform i already claimed that name from mm. twitter facebook youtube trademarked everything <laughs> you feel me so um yeah stream my music man like i said it's definitely some good shit um <laughs> something that you need to listen to something that you need to be hearing something that you need to be watching when you go to youtube as well my music videos are better some of these artists have already signed it is what it is i said it confidently saying it that's what it is ain't nothing wrong with confidence you gotta believe in yourself it's something serious and it's something very important <laughs> you know what i'm saying um courtesy last words my man 
Um, listen, either lead or get led. Just don't get left behind. Lead team. Bars. I'm your man, Big Veg. I'm your rock and roll media ambassador. Something real serious, man. My man, Courtesy in the building. Make sure you tap into his world, man. It's 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 gonna be courtesy if you tap into courtesy. You see what I did? Right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not rapping. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to connect little dots. I'm your man, Big Veg. I'm out of here. I'm your rock and roll media ambassador. I got more for your man. Peace. Shorty in tip top shape. Do it for the tip top. You ain't gotta feel no way. Do it for the tip top. Tip top. Booty looking real firm. Do it for the tip top. You ain't gotta wait your turn. Do it for the tip top. Tip top. Do it for the tip top. Do it for the tip top. Do it for the tip top. Tip top. Do it for the tip top. Tip top. Do it for the tip top. Do it for the tip top. Post it on your IG page, but do it for the TikTok, TikTok. Shake, shake, shake. Yikes! Shorty look real, real nice. Yeah, she's still looking like a whole damn wife. Wanna get married right now, throw rice. Sheesh. I got good pipe. So, girl, let me put it in your life. Uh, hit my credit card and go swipe. I swear to God, you can have whatever you like. Say. But on another note, here's a bottle with a handy going ride the boat. Loosen up a little bit and let it die in throat. Finna have a good.